Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's here with 307 Junk Journals. We are continuing from Tuesday and just decorating up those the stamp collage pages that we did. Um, I cut I cut up the manila fold, file folder. This is from the um, coffee dyed paper, and these ones here are all from the yeah from the file folder. And all I did with the cutting of these is I tried to cut, you know, like this here is the rounded corners. I just tried to cut those off. Um, this one here was actually the, the, um, yeah, it was that. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to round all the corners. It was like the tab part of the file folder. So that's all I'm going to do there. And then these two here, I'm going to make into journal cards. So... Again, I'm going to just round the corners because rounding the corners or cutting the corners off makes it easier to get into um, pockets. This one here, I'm going to go, I'm going to make this one a smaller one. So I'm recording this video right after Tuesday's video. So if I sound the same... And I have the ink on. Well, I do have the ink on, not F, but I have the ink on <laughs> my fingers. That be why. All right. All right. So let's decorate this fellow. And uh, I did like this flower. I am, however, going to cut. I think. In here, I'm going to cut that leaf off. Just because this right here just seems... There's a lot of stuff that I don't think really needs to be in there. Okay, that's really pointy. I don't want it pointy. And then I'll take this out and Twitchy McPherson is in the house just so y'all know I'm twitchy and I probably am slurring my words because well that's what happens <laughs> just learn to deal with it that's what I, I just I just learned to deal with it okay so that little birdie's going to get, he's going to get axed. Okay, so I'm going to take a piece of this. Ooh, that's a page. That's a page. Some book page here. This is, um, it's Swedish. And I was calling it a prayer book, but I don't think it's a prayer book. I'm not really sure what it is. But, it, but the language that it, it's in is Swedish. I do know that for a fact. Okay. And I think I'm just going to put that, like, right there. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I think I like that better. All right. And remember from last time, I was talking about the rule of three. That's what I usually... That's my go-to when I'm wanting to do things quickly is a rule of three. S three elements on, on whatever you're decorating. So there's our first element, and then this will be our second element. And then I will have a label somewhere. Probably right there. I know, and it will probably be that way. Okay, I'm gonna not waste on whatnot. I have a bazillion glue books, but you know, there might come a time that I don't have any. I seriously doubt that time will ever come, but you know, 
It might. One just never knows. Give that a squish. And you know, on these tags, on these stamped collage, you know, collage stamp pieces of paper, you could ink around the outside and see, and that just grunges it up that much more if you so desired. Okay, so I've got strings. Okay, I think I'm wanting to use actually this label. And I think I want it over there. And I think I want to cut, snip the corners off. So the more I talk, the better my voice is getting. So maybe that's the key to talking. <laughs> is talk more. I'm not going to say my throat doesn't hurt anymore, but it does feel a squidge better. Um, and I do mean a squidge. So this um, neck brace that I'm in, I will be in it for six weeks. I've only been in it a week, and I already hate it. Of course, the um, the doctor did say that I would end up hating it. That was his. That was the biggest complaint of his of of the patient that he's done this particular procedure on it. Sorry. Oops. Oh no. My. Oh no. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Look away. My ribbons decided to fall. The large angle. And again, I want the large angle on this because we're going to make this into like a small taggy kind of thing. Okay, now I figure out which way is up. Do I want this way up? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll work on that in a minute. But here is this. Let us have the slot punch. I just had it. Because again, I'm recording this right after I did Tuesdays. And there we go. We have another tag. Okay, so this. I think I am going to see what is in here. Because I got a lot of stuff in here. I got it in Happy Mail. Saw some of it. Ooh, that looks kind of nice. Some of these little tags in here I got from my Happy Mail. Some of them, like this one here, is a Medieval Mirage. Ooh, let's try that. I think that's maybe Tracy Fox. This is where all labels go that I don't know what to do with. <laughs> I mean, I know what to do with them. They just need to be put away, really. That, that, that's, that's the tick right there. They just need to be put away. Maybe I'll put a butterfly on there. Put a green one. I don't like that one. All right. I'm not going to look any further. So what I'm thinking, these, I've seen these um, frames on other channels, and they said they've, they've gotten them from AliExpress. I've also seen them on Timu. Um... Well. And they're kind of fussy. I'm not going to lie. They're kind of fussy. 
I have, so I have square punches and I have four different sizes of square punches. I got it from Memory Keepers back in the day when I was doing scrapbooking. Um, and I make, I make my own. Let's see if I can find them. See, I make, I make a bunch. I didn't make these. This, I think, came in half a meal. Because I'm not sure where I got them from. But I haven't used them yet. And I don't know why I kept that. Down, dinner. Hmm. Oh. But yeah, see, there's a whole bunch. And I use these frames. Um, I mean, you can use them for these, this kind of thing. You could, I usually use them for like when I'm making the tracing paper strips. But there's a bunch in here. So, because you start with like the small, like the small square. And then you, you punch that out, and then you go to the next large one, and you punch that out, and you get that frame. And then you go to the third largest, or smallest, the second largest punch, and you get that one. And then you go to the largest one, and you get another one. It's quite fabulous. You know, I might want that. I don't know. I was really wanting the center one. But you have to be really careful when you're pulling these apart because you can tear them. And y'all know I'm like a bowl in a china closet. Okay, that might be too big. But I don't know that it really matters because I could have it going off the page. Put like something like that there and then put this back behind there. Maybe. And then maybe, oh, and then the butterfly. Hmm. Now I don't like that color of butterfly. Well, Aren't I just being fussy? Oh, and I forgot, God bless America, I forgot to start the timer again. This is what happens when you don't record for, like, weeks. Okay, we've been... Okay, so we're going to go 15 minutes. Because we've been here for about 15 minutes. Or you know what I could do? Ooh, there's a shroom. I like the shroom. I have a place for, for shrooms. Oh, there's the yellow butterfly. Ooh, I like that butterfly better. See, I really need to put these away so I can use them for other things. So I can actually peruse them without having to go through this difficulty. So now, as you have noticed, this one here, oops, that's, oh, I feel like that. Ooh, you know, I think I like that. Okay, so let us start by doing the dark green one. Just gonna put that there. I got strings. Okay, then we're gonna do this one. And yes, I probably should have, oh goodness. Used my arch glitter glue because that would be the smart thing to do. You know, you would think that a person with 
with the high IQ would, would, you know, remember these things, but no, that's not how that works. Just saying. I had to put glue there and I didn't really need to put glue on there. That's fine though. Because I am just going to snip that. Oh gosh. I don't know. That sucks my finger. Because I got glue and everything else all stuck to my hands. Right there. And then we're going to put this one right there. Oh. Apparently my glue book page right there is really sticky. So that looks good. Now, now the thing is, is do I want to put that there? I do like that. Or do I want to put the butterfly there? I like the butterfly too. Hmm. We're just going to do the butterfly because, well, because why not? All right. So this one here, as you can see, is going above and beyond the my rule of three. Um, I'm actually putting four elements on this instead of three. But see, I could leave it like that and it would be fine. But this butterfly is just going to add, I think, a little bit of zhuzhing, as Wendy over at Wendy... Wendy's Journal Adventures. There. And see, that will be nice for a little tuck. So, what did I do with it? So, I don't remember who I was watching. Um, but they made these little pocket things. Um, who was I watching who did this? You know, I don't know... But see, like, in this little pocket, that would be cute. Like, you know, put something in there like that. That would be really cute. Of course, I have mine all filled, so. But that, that is cute. That's good for those little tiny pockets. All right, now then, now let's do this one. And I'm going to, you know, oh, there's my big scissors. I'm just going to eyeball this. It'll be fine. That's not exactly straight. There. Okay. Well, I don't know if I can use those anymore. Ooh. See, this is a nice, long, skinny piece. That would be fabulous right there. Yes. I think I'm going to use it. Find a piece of my glue book over here that's not all gluey. So there's our first element. I'm going to take that chunk of glue off of my glue stick. Try to remember to put the lids on these because I have a fan going because it's hot. I'll be hot. Okay, now, now what do I want to put on here? You know, it's going to have to be a flower because I, I know I don't have any birds that are like that. And let's see, now I know I have some, ooh, excuse me. Oh, goodness gracious alive. That one wouldn't be bad, but I was thinking I had some that was already cut out. Not of these flowers, but from her, from Rachel. That one wouldn't look bad either. You know, have to try things out. Yeah, I've been looking. 
looking for a home for that flower for eons. It's my favorite flower. And I'm going a blue flower. Here's some roses. Oh, here's the ones that I was thinking of. Yeah, actually, maybe. Okay. I am going to cut this one out. And again, it's going to be, I'm going to use my big scissors because... I can control them a little bit better when I'm all twitchy and I know that doesn't make any sense, does it? I know. I know, I know, I know. So I obviously, instead of not talking to save my voice, I need to talk because at least in my ears, it doesn't sound as raspy as it did when I started Tuesday's video. It might still be. But it doesn't sound that way to my ears. It sounds better. And I'm going to come back in with these little pointy, these little scissors. Oh, 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 stop. Goodness gracious, alive. Heavens to Betsy. There. Okay, so I do like that one. But I'm thinking I might like this one better. It needs more more cut off here i am thinking and if i could only use both my eyeballs it would make fussy cutting so much easier but trichy mcpherson is out in force and you know she likes to cause hate and discontent wherever she goes so she's twitchy and she's causing double vision. Again, this is all side effect of, of the surgery I had last week, so. So it is what it is, right? Uh, when I was in the hospital, because I had to see the night in the hospital, I kept telling all the nurses, I'm like going, Okay, if my right eye is looking at my nose, it's perfectly normal. It happens all the time. And they're like, oh, okay. It's like, no, I have a tumor in my brain stem. Okay, yep, I do like that. I like this one better than that one. So, we'll just put that up there along with that one. And then I'm going to get a clean sheet of glue paper. And then my glue stick. So apparently summer has come to Wyoming. I liked it better when it was when you know it was still spring. Because now it's hotter than Hades. See, I'm one of those weird people. I don't mind winter, really. I don't. And now that I'm similarly to mostly retired, I really don't mind it because I don't have to drive in it. So that makes it even better for me, for myself. Okay, and since this label is out, I think I'm just going to put it right there. Or do I want it over here? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to grab the tweezers and then the arctic glitter glue because, well, because, because, because of all the wonderful things he does. Okay. 
I don't really want to cover up the little birdie right there. You see, and there's a lovely tag. And I did it using the rule of three. I have a piece of Florentine paper, I've got the flower as the focal point, and then I have a label. So, and you know, I have a buttload, I mean a buttload of stuff. So, if you don't want to go through it, everything that you have, just get out, out a couple of things. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm looking for, I don't know, I'm looking for, oh, mushrooms. Looking for Rachel's pouch. I have a Roxy Creations pouch. And Lord, the Lord only knows where it is because it's not where it's supposed to be. So I obviously used it and I didn't put it away. Rude. That's fine. I have, I have somewhere. I don't know what I did with them. See, this is another thing. If you're not completely, I want to try really hard to be organized, but, you know, I'm not going to lie, that sometimes just doesn't work out well for me. And I have a printing problem, so, oh, what is this? Why is it down there? Oh, it's rubber stamps. It's not where they go. I know I have some papers of Tina over at Chevy Dev Judah. I have and they're like little cards and things. Maybe maybe oh, so here's oops. Here's these. Maybe they're in this pile here. Those are tags. Cause see, I haven't put I haven't put Tina up yet. Tina hasn't isn't where she's supposed to be. Those are kind of nice. Oh, I look at that. All right. So now we're gonna go ten minutes. Oh, we're just not gonna get all these decorated because. Apparently, I'm slower than a seven-year itch now. And like I said, this is these are from Tina over at Shabby Dabby Duda. And they're really pretty. She does very feminine floor botanical kind of stuff, and I just I just love them. And the tag or the tags, the labels she did, that label kit that I got has so many labels in it and so many different sizes. It's fabulous. I really want a drink of my coffee, but swallowing is an issue. Sorry, I am taking a slurp of coffee. So I'm used to taking like, you know, big swigs. Okay, and I think I want a different color of paper of the page. Mm, I want a dark, grungy looking one. Ooh, here's a nice dark, grungy looking one. It's mm, not as dark as I would like it. I have a tiny piece right here. Oh, mm, we could use that. Do it! Find a clean piece of glue book page. I 
So my husband and his naughty little shepherd putty went to work today. They were off all last week. And my poor little white dog had to be in her muzzle the entire week. Because... Twitchy Von Magpie doesn't like other dogs. Twitchy Von Magpie, I don't think he even really likes herself. <clears throat> so the whole time she had to wear her muzzle. Okay, we can grab some of Tina's labels here. They said they're all different colors and sizes. And they're just one. I mean, see, she got she has big ones. Somewhere in here, see, look at there's little ones, some big ones. I don't want to use that one. That might be what I want to use right there. I got glue on my fingers. You know, I don't think. Oh, yeah, here's every. Oh, see, and look at these are even smaller. How fun is that? Now I might want like a small one. Maybe one of these ones. How about Watson? And just so y'all know, these labels have like a little round thing cut out. I'm not cutting the round thing out. <laughs> I'm just cutting it straight across because I ain't got time for that nonsense. I can barely cut a straight line. Let's not add circles to it. And they look just fine by cutting it straight across. Can't even tell that they were supposed to be curved. Unless you look really, really, really close. Okay, and I think I'm going to put this right there and see if that'll be done. How fabulous is that? You know, I think... I think... I have some of this lace. I wonder if a piece of this lace with the nice crust tab. Or maybe if I did it like that. Yeah, let's do that. So this came off of an uh, old hanky, I believe. Okay, now where's my stapler? See, when you don't craft for a while, you don't know where anything is. You know the general area it's in, but that's about it. Hmm. Well, I don't know if this is where it should be. And you know what? I'm probably looking right out. Oh, I wasn't looking right at it. It was off to the side. Okay, get down in here. There. And then I'm going to take some fabric tack. So I learned something new about fabric tack that I didn't realize. Apparently it has acetone in it. And when you paint your fingernails, that is why it ruins it. Because it has that acetone in it. Who would have thunk? Not that I paint my fingernails. I use gel on my fingernails. So it's not gonna, it's not a real issue for me. Um, and I use the hard gel versus like gel polish. There. But yeah. I never knew it had acetone in, in it. It's highly flammable. It's a highly flammable liquid and vapor. I urge and read carefully. Well, hmm. 
I don't know. I don't even see where. Oh, yep. Contains acetone liquid. So, yes. So that would be why if you use it and you get it on your fingernails after you've painted them, that would be why it comes off. Okay, so... You know, I have, I think, on this one, I am just going to use that and maybe a piece of this. Maybe I want it over here. Yeah. Let's do that. Apparently, my little dog thinks she needs to go outside. She's just going to have to wait because I'm pretty sure the only reason she wants to go outside is so she can back. To ink this just a squidge, and I do mean oops, and see, I got glue on my fingers just a squidge because there was some white, and I don't feel like cutting it off. So, there you go. This one's gonna be super easy because I'm only gonna use two elements. Of course, I do have, I could put a butterfly in, and that would be. The rule of three. Let's see, I just really kind of like it like that. Let me check my butterflies. See, these are Tina Overage, Happy Daddy Do Does. Oh, butterfly, oh, butterfly. What if I ask the butterfly? Hmm. I don't really want a butterfly. Oh, that green butterfly. <laughs> I was just saying, gonna say, I don't really want a butterfly that I have to cut out, but I really like that green butterfly. So let's see if there is some other butterflies that I don't have to cut out. What is this? Ooh, that one looks just as good. And I'll cut it out. What else do we have? I got bugs. I really need to start working on my bee journal. That's going to be our next... That's going to be my next project is the bee journal. Okay. And we're done. Apparently. Yeah. Not quite, but as soon as I do this little butterfly, then the other stuff I'll put in my, um, in my to-do box. Oops. Oh, here, let me just smear it all over the place. There. So we did that one. Wow, I am extraordinarily slow. I am so sorry. I'll get faster. And we did that one. And we did this little one. We did, oh, I guess we got quite a few done. We did that one. And we did that one. And these other ones over here I did on Tuesday. So, so yeah. So, all right. So, I guess we got, we got five done. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. So, yay. All right. So, that's the video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and put a comment down in the comment box because all that helps my little channel grow. And I want to say welcome to, I think in the last week I've had three new subscribers. I'm so excited. I'm glad you joined us. All right. Well, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, and I think we're doing a general craft with me. Because, again, I don't know where my, my video journal is. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.